Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, Larry and I are tackling the task of packing our master bedroom. So many of you guys have requested packing videos. So my plan for this video is I'm probably not going to be talking a ton and explaining a ton because you guys know what I'm doing. We're packing. So I'm going to probably set the camera up in certain places and just roll packing what I'm doing. I think the plan of attack today is now we do have a, oh, I almost said 10 month or nine month old. I, we have a 10 month old. Um, so we're going to be working. Do I hear him? I do hear him. Speaking of Liam, he must be stretching, moving. Um, but anyway, so we're going to be ping ponging around taking care of Liam and then trying to pack the master bedroom. The goal is to have everything packed in here today, but we do need to leave out some essentials because we're not moving yet. So we need to leave out some cosmetics. I think what I'm going to do is just put a makeup bag on the vanity and only put the things that I use on a sing every single day basis. And then same with toiletries or, you know, like deodorants and that kind of thing. So I also might, which is going to be so time consuming. I am one of those people that is a very sentimental person. So I have saved birthday cards, Christmas cards since I was a child and I have several boxes of those. And I think I'm going to pick a couple of my favorites. Oh, I don't even know. Anyways, I know that's going to be time consuming. I think Liam's up. So before we get started on this bedroom, we're going to have some breakfast. I'm not going to film that because this is going to be a packing master bedroom vlog, but yeah, I think I'm going to try and get all the clothes packed and put away except for maybe two sweatshirts, a couple t-shirts, leggings, and like a pair of jeans and just rotate those out and just really simplify what we what we have. So that is the plan of attack today. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Get yourself some coffee. This might be some motivation to declutter too. So I might be doing that along with this vlog. I have really dived into the whole decluttering I will take this opportunity today to purge any items that we don't need. That could be some makeup items too. I did go through that not that long ago, but as I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, right, I'm only going to put the stuff that I use every day on a daily basis in my makeup bag and pull from that. So why do I have all the extra stuff? Um, so we might, we might do some things there as well, but guys, let's begin. where to begin. I don't know. We have the whole bathroom to do. We have the whole master closet to do. We have the dressers to do, medicines, vitamins. So it's gonna be a very busy, the underneath of the bed, which isn't too bad, let's be honest. <laughs> it's not too, too bad. But um, yeah, we have a busy day ahead of us. So grab yourself some tea, grab yourself some coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you've moved recently, if you're moving currently, like how is your packing adventure going? Cause I know a lot of you guys are moving right now too. So that's fun. We're doing it together and it can be stressful, but it's also exciting. New beginnings. I love new beginnings. So cheers guys. Hello, babe. <laughs> so I am going to start at the vanity. I just cleared it all off. And now I'm going to go through and put everything that I use on a daily basis here and everything else I'm going to pack away in this little zip bag. And if there's anything that I'm not using that's expired that I don't want, I am going to toss or give to family and friends. So also going to weed through my brushes, which needs wash. And I am going to wash them today before packing them because I just, I, I, <laughs> When we go to the new house, I don't want to start off, which sounds so funny, but who wants to start off with pack dirty brushes? Like, ew. Ew. So we're going to get those cleaned as well.
All the essentials are packed. We'll leave that out on the vanity. I think I am going to donate this. I've had it for a long time and I'm just, I'm ready to part with it. I'm also thinking about this. Should I donate it? I don't know. Now I'm going to go through, like I said, the vanity, pull out anything that I am not using, and then I will check back in with you guys once I'm finished. Okay, the vanity is 100% done. This is items that I am packing and taking. This is everyday things. I know. And then the vanity. I have made the decision to donate the vanity. I'm also going to be donating this. We're going to do this today. Um, donating this piece and this keeping my fan because I get super hot <laughs> at night when I sleep but everything else I don't here know what this is but it's coming off will be donated so say goodbye to the vanity I have filmed many morning chats at this vanity so but I'm excited that somebody else will be able to enjoy this pretty piece looks hideous but again we're moving it is what it is maybe I think it looks hideous because it's I don't know if I would have left it like this and we were staying here I'd probably put a plant in this corner where Larry's standing just to make it look a little nicer um but yeah here here this is where we're at we're in the bathroom now I'm gonna pull out what I use daily and everything else I'm gonna pack away what I'm not using or what is expired is gonna go so we're gonna do this I have started pulling out some things here and then we need to do under there, which I actually just organized not that long ago. We need to do under here, which is a lot of hair stuff, which I think I'm going to get rid of a lot because I use the same few things over and over and the rest just sits there. And then we have this side, which again, I just organized not that long ago, but we're going to get it all packed away except for the essentials that we use every day that we're gonna need up until moving date. This is an empty, which I need to repurchase. Love this. If you guys are looking for a really great vitamin C serum for super sensitive skin like mine, this is amazing. This is the CEO 15% vitamin C brightening serum. I will link it down below for you guys. Followed by, this is probably my favorite product ever that actually makes a difference in my skin. This is the Good Genes All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. This is insane visibly brighter in the morning. I know that sounds like, okay, no, but seriously, like I recommend this to everyone. Again, I have sensitive skin, so I pump a pump, one pump into my moisturizer, mix it together, um, and then apply it one to two times a week at night. Because if I apply this straight to my skin, my skin is just a little too sensitive for that. So if you have sensitive skin like me, um, give that a try. But this is a gem. Again, we'll link it down below. transporting my Osea lotion and oil and they lock oh that's so good so that that way they won't leak in travels and their glass bottles so you know oh that one didn't lock correctly there we go okay locked and ready for transport My favorite moisturizer of all time. I've gone through probably five tubes of this. Again, we'll link it down below.
Okay, so I bought these and in theory they were really cute, but they were such a pain. Like all the products in here, because this bottom is not solid and it's the metal, they would always fall over. So I'm also going to donate these as well. It just, it's pretty, it's cute, it doesn't work. It's not functional. Maybe it would be for papers, but not for what I need it for. Okay, it's officially empty. done pack the tools away come on tools ow old bathroom is complete. Everything is emptied out that we do not use on a daily basis. All of my extra like shampoos and conditioners have been packed away. Still love, still use. I do a lot of rotation with my shampoos and conditioners, but I left my favorite ones in the shower that I'm going to use. And now we're tackling the medicine drawer. So we don't have a traditional medicine drawer. I guess that glass cabinet that I opened and pulled out all of my skincare out, that would probably be your traditional medicine drawer but I actually have all the medicine in the like bedside table. So the, what was, what was I using this for originally? This was like socks and underwear at one point and then it switched over to medicines. So I'm talking like the most random things ever in here, like for every ailment that you have. So we have like cold and sinus, we have contacts, we have sore muscle cream, we have Motrin, um, vitamins. We literally have everything like peppermint essential oil balls, balls, peppermint essential oil roller ball, um, Benadryl, like, like I'm saying, legitimately the drawer that holds and hosts everything. Why is there a stack? This is what I learned in one of my decluttering videos is they were talking about cards, gift cards. What, these are living in the back of this cabinet. For what reason? 
why are they sitting here they're taking up space like that is a thick stack of cards like an sd card i'll have to see what's on that that was hiding in there um so now i need to go through these and get rid of and then check like balances on these we have a dunkin donuts card that looks definitely has seen better days oh <gasps> my universal studios premiere pass how cute okay so we have oh my gosh my school ID when I went to college down here in Florida. That's fun. That's probably why I kept that as a memento. My thing, Ulta, Bells. Like guys, we have a Starbucks gift card though. See, I need to call and check all these mounts. But anyways, anyways, let's not trail off here. Let's declutter this. Let's get rid of things that are expired, medicines that are expired, things that we are not using. Do you guys believe in medicine expiration dates. I feel like I shouldn't answer what I think <laughs> on the internet out loud. Um, yeah. Oh no. See like my little baby aspirin that I had to take when I was pregnant with Liam just dumped out and all emptied in here. Anyways, I need to go through this. So we're going to go through this now. break from the medicine cabinet and Larry and I are actually loading up the car and we're going to take a lot of items off to donate and then we need to pick up more boxes and tape. So we're going to run out the door, run some errands, and then we'll be back to continue the packing. Like Larry went through some of his Christmas stuff. We are officially donating the vanity. I don't know why it's making me emotional, but it suddenly is making me emotional. It is now the next day. You join me in the master closet. So we're going to go through these clothes today. I'm going to either sell over on my Poshmark what I don't want, donate or toss if it's kind of ruined and just past what I can wear what anybody can wear. So we are going to do the closet today. I'm going to leave a couple of few remaining pieces that I'm just going to use until we are officially moved out. But everything else I'm just going to pack away. Ah! Uh, have Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on the background on the TV, which is nice to listen to while we work. So I've also already gone through, I'll show you guys up here. I've already gone through my shoe collection. I, why I have all these Uggs, okay, so I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and in the fall, in the winter, I love wearing boots like this. We can wear them here in Florida in the winter, but only for like a couple of months, um, but this is my life. Like, I love this kind of wardrobe. Again, why I'm in Florida, I'm not quite sure, but <laughs> um, weather-wise, I'm not quite sure, um, but I also like can't part with them, so... I'm keeping them but um, I did already go through this through a lot of these things the jeans um, and yeah I have it organized by color in here so it's like organized by color slash style so I have t-shirts and stuff I'm also getting really weird about the fit of my t-shirts like I hate the way everything is fitting on me and I don't know if I'm like going through a phase because my hormones are changing. I'm a little bit more hormonal with my periods coming back, but like literally, and I know it sounds really dramatic, but everything I'm putting on, I'm like, this is not flattering. I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me look, the way it's sitting on me. It's just, I'm having one of those moments, which is kind of easy when you want to get rid of things. It's like, right, I don't like that. So that goes, I don't like that. So that goes. So I am on the hunt for which this is really funny because I used to wear fitted t-shirts, fitted women's t-shirts all the time. And I'm like, ew, I don't like fitted t-shirts. I'm going to like loose oversized t-shirts. Now I don't like the way the loose to oversized t-shirts are looking with my jeans and I want something that's more fitted. So if you guys have any recommendations for a women's fitted t-shirt that is comfortable 
um, flattering and just lovely, let me know. Like, I don't want a stiff, like uncomfortable fitted t-shirt. I want something that's like nice and comfy. So if you guys have a recommendation, let me know. Cause apparently I'm going into that phase where I want to wear fitted t-shirt and jeans or a fitted t-shirt and leggings, because now I'm just not loving the way basic t-shirts are looking on me. <laughs> but anyways, I am going to go through this closet. I'm not sure what I can set you guys up on because there's like nothing in the closet that I can put down. Ah! Liam is assisting me today. You helping mama? Are you helping mama? Yeah, I see your big smile. Um, so, oh, I couldn't, no, mm -mm. I'll figure it out and we're just gonna go through this closet. So here we go. Hello guys it is the next day you join me in the closet so my memory card basically filled up and then time got away from me and here we are at the next day so as you can see project is not finished but we are going to get it finished today these are the pieces i left out to wear and we still have the top to do larry did do his side of the closet over here but we also have larry's back side of the closet that we need to do but I also want to set you guys up because I have found the fitted t-shirts. Remember me talking about that? Like just a few clips ago. Well, the next day I went to the store because I needed to run out and get some packaging materials. And I walked by and I found the perfect fitted t-shirts. You guys may have seen this on Instagram. If you follow me over there, I will link these down below. They're incredible. So the neck is high, like it comes up to here. They're stretchy, they're flattering. Um, I can't say enough wonderful things about them. So this is what they look like. They are from Target. This is the brand, A New Day. And look at the, like the stretch, like it's just so nice and fitted and flattering and not uncomfortable. <laughs> like that's exactly what I was looking for. Also the length on the sleeves is nice. Like it kind of comes up to here. It's not super cropped, but it's not long. Like it's just the perfect fit. I picked it up in all of the neutral colors that they had. So I have black, this, I'm not sure. Is this like a taupe kind of color? This white one and then gray. Those are the colors that I got it in and I am, I am so obsessed with it. So if you guys are looking for one of those items or a fitted t-shirt that's just very flattering, I have found the one and I will link them down below for you guys. Um, I am probably going to end this video here. Thank you so much for packing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I am going to uh, continue on. I have not finished the master, the master bedroom. Oh, we also got rid of this mirror here. We donated that mirror we still have the dresser which has a bunch of stuff on it um, that needs to be packed up in boxes but let the packing commence i hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and i will see you guys in the next video